Hi guys, it's Desi here. Um, this is a book, it's called The Ghosts in Love, okay? Um, it's by Jonathan Leatham. Um, I received this book because a lady I know on Goodreads in Hawaii um, didn't like the book. So she sent it to me, and I liked it. It was a great book. I'm going to read you the blurb on the back, and then I'm going to tell you about the book. Okay, a man falls in the snow and hits his head on the stone curb and dies. A ghost that's been sent to take his soul to the afterlife arrives just as he falls. But something strange occurs. The man doesn't die. The ghost is flabbergasted. The unpredicted going, this is unpredicted, going immediately to his boss. The ghost says, what should I do now? We don't know. Well, how it happened. We're working on it. In the meantime, we just want you to stay with the man, watch and see what he does, anything that ha might help us figure out what's going on. Unhappily, the ghost agrees. It is a ghost, not a nursemaid. The last thing it wants to do is hang around watching a human being walk through his days. But a funny thing happens. The ghost is truly manly and deeply in love with the man's girlfriend. And things get complicated. The ghost happens to be a lady. Okay? The ghost is in love about what happens is when we discover that we become the master of our own fates. No excuse, no outside forces or goods to blame. The responsibility is our own. It is also about the love of ghosts that happens to be a gourmet cook, talking dogs, who is pilot. And picking, picnicking in the rain with yourself and 20 different ghosts at different ages. <clears throat> this book, um, it's kind of, kind of, it, it was kind of funny when you first started reading it. You were seeing, here's Ben, there's German. German happens to be Ben's girlfriend. While they were getting into an argument, they thought they were in love. Okay, um, Pilot. The dog, it's a talking dog eventually. Um, what happens is Ben goes to the Humane Society and picks his dog up. Nobody wanted the dog. It's ugly looking, but he thought of somebody when he seen the dog. Well, Pilot happens to be one of Ben's girlfriends in the afterlife. Ben had lived in overseas. And he was riding a scooter, and the girl was on the back, and she fell off and died. Well, she came back in the afterlife as a dog, and she was looking for Ben. Well, she found Ben. She didn't talk to Ben until middle of the book, but this is what's so cool about it because um, Ben is a cook in the restaurant. German's a teacher. Things start happening. I can't figure out what's going on. Like it says, Ben hits his head, falls, and it's in New York, so he hits his head and falls. He thinks he's going to die, but he ain't. Well, the ghost that came back, her name is Ling. Well, she's his guardian angel, more or less, in the afterlife, and she's supposed to watch what's going on. She's frustrated because she's a gourmet cook in the afterlife. Well, Ben and German went to a show, and there was an old man in the theater. Well, he kept making all kinds of noises, and stuff, and got Ben pretty well pissed off. So after the theater, they went to eat a pizza and get a beer. Well, what happens when they come into the store? The guy that was uh, making the pizzas told the guy to get out of the store. Well, the old man stabs the owner of the pizza joint. Ben and German are freaked out. Well, it happens to be the old man that looks like a bum happens to be one of Ben's afterlives. Um, what I mean by that is um, Ben has a bunch of Ben's back in his back years, okay? Well, he goes and torments Ben. Um, and he knows the dog talks. 
you know, he comes up and he tells the dog he wants to know where Ben and German are. The dog won't say nothing. Well, one thing leads to another in the book. Okay, I'm not going to tell you everything, but um, Ben is confronted with all his past and his present. There's Ben past, Ben present. Well, German is the same way. Uh, something pulls her to her past, um, and she gets to see what happened from her age, like 12 and up, and they want to know what the heck is going on. Well, she doesn't want to really know because she knew what happened. Well, there was a lady that they uh, met. Well, this lady was impacted with a, a pin that came off of a plane. Her parents were driving down the road, and a plane crashed, and boom, somebody's plane pin, ink pen, had implanted into her head. Well, Ben and um, Jeremy went to see her, to ask her about this. And she couldn't see Ben, but she was sitting there talking to German. You know, like, um, who are you talking to? Why are you freaking me out? Well, um, Danielle, <laughs> who was who the lady, she didn't know that Ben was going into his afterlife. You know, he was becoming between death and living. The book is about 318 pages. It only took me about three and a half hours to read it. Because once I got into the book, I loved it. <laughs> okay, this is going to be on Google, plus at Desiree Riley, Facebook, Twitter at Desi the Blonde, uh, Lincoln, I have my webpage at Desi's Riley's Place. You have to look for a B and then hit it. It'll be on there. Um, I put on everything that I win and everything that, any book that I do. I have 12 sites. So, you know, pinners, look it all up. You'll see me on there. And if you want to hit me up, go ahead. I'll hit you up as a friend. Thanks a lot for letting me read the book. It will be passed on uh, probably within the next couple of weeks. And somebody else will get a good read out of it.